let's look at some real life deadlift examples now. Here we're looking at the under 80 Britain's strongest man. So these are some of the best under 80 kilo deadlifters in the UK at the minute. And let's look at the, the three Bs. So the three Bs, that was a bar path. Let's have a look at the bar path here. So we've got Tim and Lewis here. Look at the bar path, the way that the bar moves in a perfectly straight line throughout the lift. Absolute tech sport. So great pulling. Let's have a look at the back, back stiffness. So look at Lewis and Tim. And Tim's an example of somebody who sets up with a rounded thoracic spine. Uh, but you'll notice that here, even when it's getting tough, that his back position stays pretty much fixed all the way throughout. You can see Lewis does exactly the same thing here, but Lewis is slightly more extended position throughout. You can see as he's getting tired that he was flexing a little bit more there, and then that's for, what, that's why he was uh, working a little bit harder as he locked out. Let's see these guys. So we've got great stuff. So look at the bar path first. Can you see anybody's bar path? Is, is anybody le leaking out in front? Are they pushing it out as they pull? No. Even when he fails there, he fails in a really good position. So if you look at the, the distance the bar's traveling, it's just absolutely brilliant. So obviously in terms of the third B, the bracing, you can see that these guys are looking to maximize this through the use of the belt. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic. You could see Tom just nudged that one a little bit in front of him on the last one. See if he corrects it on this one. Yeah, pretty good. But what I think the thing that's consistent throughout that we've seen so far, regardless of, say, Tom's position setting up pretty rounded there, and that's what's cost him the rep, actually, in terms of he was... Um, got that above the knee and then he, he he's not quite strong enough to lock out from that position. But then again, if he'd have started off in a more extended position from the floor, which would have been more favorable for lockout, he probably wouldn't have been able to break it off the floor at that weight. So great set. So Joe, here's another great example of locking in that kind of rigid torso rather than thinking about back straight, thinking about back rigid, and you can see that his back's not moving significantly throughout the lift. Look at the bar path. So great. And it goes without saying that these guys know how to brace and the, like I say, the, the using the using the belts throughout. So great work. Who else have we got here? So Matt, Matt and Rich, look at Rich's bar path from the side and look at, so Rich is so strong in, in that extended position, in that neutral spine position, he can just, just rep out throughout. And as soon as he breaks off the floor, he's always in a good position to lock out. That's the advantage of people who are strong enough to break it off the floor with a neutral spine. If you can break it off the floor, your, your lockout's going to be, easier in terms of all you need to do is extend the hips rather than focus on an extent getting the back from a flex position to an extended position but also as well it's a shorter range of motion because of that so if you look at say a, someone someone like rich he it looks like he's lifting through a shorter range of motion because the the yeah the bar path is so good cu coupled with um, his strengths and uh, muscular balances as a lifter Let's have a look at Dean. So Dean's bar path, excellent. You can see if you're being being really being really picky, he's close to nudging it forward, but it's not significant as he breaks it off the floor. But you can see it's just peeling forward ever so slightly. Do I think Dean may be a bit better with the setting up with the bar, maybe a couple of a couple of millimeters further out in front. I think it's going to tidy up that initial break off the floor. We wouldn't want him to start with the hips a little bit higher because if you look at the position that he's maintaining from the floor, he's maintaining that back angle. His hips are 
rising at the his hips and shoulders are rising at the same time, no matter how deep he's going into this set. I think he's just his uh, set's going to be even more efficient if he just sets up a millimeter further away. So again, look at the look at the consistent bar path here from the guys. Just absolutely brilliant.